Okay, so this is the um, 8-9 solving quadratic with the quadratic formula. This is part one, but the second part of part one. So let's look at number seven here. Um, we need to first set this equal to zero so we can find our a, b, and c. So we're going to subtract two to both sides. Now we can identify a, b, and c. Then we're going to substitute into our quadratic formula. So it's the opposite of b, b is 5, opposite of 5 is negative 5, plus or minus b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. Okay, then we can simplify. So we have a negative 5 plus or minus 5 squared is 25, 4 times a negative 3 is a negative 12, negative 12 times a negative 2 is a positive 24, all over negative 6. Okay, now we can keep simplifying. So we have negative 5 plus or minus, 25 minus 24 is 1, square root of 1 is 1. Okay, so x equals negative 5 plus 1 over negative 6, negative 5 minus 1 over negative 6. So what are we getting here? Negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4 over negative 6. That simplifies to a positive 4, 6, which simplifies to a positive 2 thirds. They share a common factor of 2. Now let's look at this one. A negative 5 at its opposite, so that's negative 6 over negative 6, and that simplifies to a positive 1. So for 7, my answer is 2 thirds and 1. All right, I think we'll do one more and then we'll stop here. So let's look at 8. Okay. First step, we need to set equal to zero. It is not, so let's do that. Then we need to identify our A, B, and C. And then we're going to substitute into the quadratic formula. Opposite of B, B is negative 2, so the opposite is a positive 2 b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. Now let's simplify. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 minus 4 times 7, which is 28. And then 28 times a negative 8, which I don't have here. Let's see what that is. So that's going to give me a negative 224, because that 8 is negative, all over 14. Okay, let's keep simplifying. So x equals 2 plus or minus. All right. We add its opposite. So 4 plus 224 gives me 228. All over 14. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to look at coming up with simplest radical form for 228. Alrighty, um, let's see. I think four. Four is a perfect square. Let's see if four will work. Yeah, four will. So we can take the square root of four and the square root of 57. Four is a perfect square, so we can bring down that two. 
And 57, do we have any perfect squares in 57? We do not. So bring down your radical 57. Okay, so when we simplify this, so we have 2 plus or minus. So the square root of 228 simplifies to 2 square root of 57 all over 14. Okay, so x equals uh, 2 and 14 have a common factor of 2, so we can break that down to 1 7 plus, factor out of 2 again, so it'd be square root of 57 over 7. Actually, guys, let's not do it that way since we have a common denominator there. Let's do, uh, let's do it this way. So if we factor this out, factor that out, get a 1, factor that out, get a 7, factor that out, get a 1, and that a 7. So what we can do here is we can say, square root of 57 over 7. We could say 1 minus square root of 57 over 7. Okay. That's it, guys. Have a good one.